Hello friends. Today we will talk about return type or our method. We will write a method. We will return a value from that method, and then we will use that in our main method. This is the structure of a method, and this first line is the signature of a method. These two are access modifiers, and this is the return type. We were using void here as we were not returning anything from our method, but we will change this void with one of data type, and then we will use this. This is the name of method and this is the list of parameters. We have talked about all these. Here I will write main method and here we are using void type and then we are passing string array type parameter and its name of parameter is arg. Here I will write our second method public static and here instead of void I want to return integer type so I will write int. You can write any data type here. Then I will write name of method. Name of method is add. Then I will write Parameter with their type. I will pass two parameters, number one and number two, and both have the same type int. Now to return anything from method, we have the keyword return. We will use this, and anything after we will use this return keyword will be returned from our method, and we have to return integer value as we are returning int type. Here simply I will write number one plus number two, and I will complete the statement. What this method will do? It will get two integer values then it will add these two integer values and then it will return this value and we will use further this return value in our main method here you can see number 1 and number 2 are integer type and we are returning their sum which will also be integer and we are writing int as return type in our main method as well now in our main method here i will declare integer type variable i will name it result and here i will call this method add now as i am calling this method i am pretty sure that this add method will return int and this returned in value will be saved in result now here i will pass two integer values their sum will be returned and then that sum will be saved in our integer type variable result now i will simply print the result on console now i will save it i will try to compile it it has been compiled successfully it means we don't have any syntax error now let's see if we are successful in running this program and great friends we have successfully printed our result on the console here you can see we have used this system.out.println to print the result and result has sum of 20 and 30 which is calculated by add method and their sum is returned and save that sum first in our result variable and then we printed on the console now if i change this 20 to 40 now i will save it and great here you can see we have calculated the sum of 40 and 10 as well so this is the basic use of method now we can use our this add method and we can add any two values and we will get the sum of two values and we can use further that sum in our programming that's it for today's lecture make practice of this try to change number of parameters type of parameter structure of method return type of method have practice of it and do experiments as well if you have any problem feel free to contact me thank you for your time